Can you see me? Can you see me? Catch the pigeon. Catch the pigeon. Where's that from? Catch the pigeon. Catch the pigeon. What is that from? That's really going to annoy me now. I'm going to have to Google that. Hi guys. Welcome to my bathroom. This is a different setting. Today we are doing something that I kind of hate but also love doing. We are decluttering my makeup collection. Um, we are going to sort it into different piles. So we have an empties bag over here. We have a box down here which is for um, products that I haven't used yet this year. And then basically what I'm going to do with those products is I'm going to kind of test some of them out again. Um, and see if I want to keep them and I do want to use them and it's just because I've got other stuff that I've been trying or whether I don't use them for a reason. Um, and then there's also going to be a pile for stuff that I know I don't like but other people might so it's like a little donation pile. So that's what we're going to do. If you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and without further ado let's start going through these drawers. So we have my Clarins SOS primer which I love that is dead, there is nothing left in here. So that's going to go in my empties bag. I literally kept it in there to remind me to repurchase it, but yeah. And um, I've got my MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage, which I did a first impressions of earlier. Not 100% keen on it, but because I don't have the SOS one anymore, I'm keeping it just in case. Um, and this Body Shop one, which I do also really like. So we'll put those to the side because we are keeping those and not throwing any of those away. So we have nine base products. Excessive? Mm, I don't know. And there's already stuff in here I'm like, I haven't used or I'm actually just going to throw it away. So, yeah, where should we start? I'll start here. This is my NARS Radiance Longwear Foundation. I do use this. I will continue to use it, so we'll keep that. My IT Cosmetic CC Cream basically is dead. I think there's like a little bit left in here, but it is basically dead. It needs to be repurchased, and I will repurchase this because I flipping love it. I feel like... Yeah, there's like nothing left that's going to go in my empties. Oh, sad. Um, on the same kind of vein, we've got the La Roche-Posay and Felios XL. Uh, this is way too dark for me. I don't really use it and I actually prefer the It Cosmetics. So this is going to go in my giveaway box. We have my two L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glows. I've got two different shades. They're staying because 202 is perfect for me now. But 203 will be perfect when it gets a little bit more tan. Uh, we've got the Body Shop Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. I haven't used that so far this year, so that can go in the to test box. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I know I tried this last year again, and it was okay, but I didn't love it, so that's going to go in my to giveaway pile because I've already tried it once and was like, oh, this is okay, I will continue to use it, and then I haven't used it. So, And then we've got the two Colourpops, which I am keeping because I do use both. I definitely use the stick more than the... Um, Liquid foundation, the liquid foundation is a little bit too matte for me, I think. But I don't want to give it away. Such a hoarder. Okay, concealers. Um, so we have the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I do still use this, I will still keep it. Um, I've got the Body Shop Matte Clayful Coverage Concealer. I haven't used this this year um, since I got it because I didn't a lot. I don't think I liked it, but I will try it again just to make sure. Uh, we have the Insta Correct and Conceal Rimmel. I don't use these. I don't really use the colour correctors at all, so that will just go in my to kind of give away part. I feel like I shouldn't be throwing things. Bourjois Radiantsville, it is my favourite. It's not yet run out, it is close, but we will keep it. That's empty, why have I still got that? That's the Revolution Conceal and Define. You're empty. Um, the Rimmel Wake Me Up, I do use that a lot. I like it. These two I have not used so far this year. We have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable. And we have the Fit Me concealer from Maybelline. So we will try those again. What else have we got in this base drawer? Powders. Four powders. Okay, we've got my Glossier Wilder, which I love. I use every single day. The Body Shop Loose Powder, I also really like that. Um, and then we have two pressed powders. I haven't used them this year. I'm going to put them away to try. I'm not holding my breath, but I will try them. These are the other things that we have in this drawer, which I'm not sure if they should be in this drawer. Liquid concealers. Surely they should be in my concealer. Maybe I'll just put all the liquid concealers together. Let's do that. So I have a few. This one is like a primer and a highlight, so I think I'm going to put that in to, to test because I haven't used it this year, but I have a feeling that this is really nice as a liquid highlighter. I can't remember what it's like as a primer, but we'll try it. Um, the Barium liquid highlighter drops. I really like those. I'll keep those. 
Um, these are the Colourpop Super Shock Cheeks. On the cusp is my absolute favourite. I wear that every single day without fail. Um, fire, I think, is too dark, so I think I'm going to give that... I don't know, I'm going to put it in my tripod because I feel like it could maybe work as an eyeshadow. I don't know, I just don't want to part ways with it. I'm not ready to. This is the Body Shop Honey Bronze Highlighting Dome. Didn't like that, so that can be donated. The Benefit What's Up, this is like a little little stick, but I remember really, really liking that. I just haven't used it, so that can go in my to try pile. Glossier Honey Scope, I haven't used this this year either, so that will go in my to try pile. And then you're empty, so. Okay, that wasn't too bad, perfect. So that is my base drawer sorted. So we can put all of these back in here. Next drawer, so my next drawer is like my finishing face drawer. So we've got bronzes, blush and highlights in here. So we'll start with, I've got some palettes, so let's look at these first. Okay, so I've got this palette, this is from, was from like MAC Shiny Pretty Things. I really like the highlight and the bronze in this. I'm gonna keep that, I feel like that's handy for holiday. I just don't want to part with this palette, but I don't use it. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. It was like a 60 something pound. I think it's the most expensive piece of makeup I have ever bought. It's so pretty, but I just don't use it. I really liked the bronze, but that's like hip pan and it's so small you can't like really get a brush in there. I'm going to put this in my detest because I haven't used it so far this year. Uh, the Tanya Bear Sweet Cheeks. The only thing I really liked about this was the bronze and that's basically dead. So I think I'm going to put that in my empties. And this, so this is the collection brush, blush and glow. Do you know what? I remember I used this in the same video as that L'Oreal foundation where I was like, I'm going to test products I haven't for ages. And I did really like this and I was very impressed, but I still don't use it. So I'm going to donate it because I'm like, yes, I like it, but I don't use it. So bronzers. Let's get you out of here in little trip. Okay, so we have the Body Shop Honey Bronze, which I like. L'Oreal Back to Bronze I like, the Benefit Hula, which I cannot get anything out of anymore, so that is going in my empties. I need to be purchased one of those. And the Collection Bronze Glow, don't use it, don't like it anymore because I like my matte bronzes, so that can go in my donate pile. Oh, I feel very ruthless. Blush, you're up. This is going to be an interesting one because up until about six months ago, all I really wore were like pink blushes, and I much prefer more neutral blushes now, so... Uh, we've got the NYX Sweet Cheeks, I do like that, I still use it so we'll keep that. The L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush, I like that, we'll keep that. My Body Shop Macaroon, I use that pretty much every day, so of course. I've been really enjoying these, I want a Colourpop Press Powder in Soul Mate. It's a little bit pinky, but it's still very kind of peachy. I have been enjoying that, so I will keep it. I haven't used this so far this year, so that's going to go in my test 2019 pile. Same for this one, this is an Estee Lauder one. This is the Pure Color and Vegans Shimmering Blush Lights Blush Lumiere. And I think I remember really liking it when I was trying it, but I will test it again. Oh, the Glossier Cloud Paint. I want to like you so much, but I just don't. <laughs> so you're gonna go in my donate pile. I'm doing it, I'm putting it in my donate pile. Um, ooh. This I think is way too dark for me. This is one of the Max Factor Cream Pro Cream Puff Blushes. This is in Gorgeous Berries, it's too dark. This one is really pretty though. This is Seductive Pink, so I will keep that. I haven't used it so far this year, so it's going in the not used puff. Uh, stick to your guns, Lisa. Uh, this is the Sleek Blush in the shade Flushed. So it's way too dark for me, that can go. Um, and we've got NARS Deep Throat Blush, which I always really liked, So, but I haven't used it for a while, so I'll put it in my test 2019. This is like the biggest one in here. Um, this is the highlight section. So we've got this palette, which is new. I've just been given this by my sister-in-law, Kay, who's from Bloom Beauty. Um, so this is the PS Topaz Highlight and Glow Palette. She got it because it's Topaz and that's my birthday. Um, so this highlight is what I'm wearing today. I really like that as a highlight. And I've also used these as like eyeshadows and they're nice. I will be keeping that. Um, I feel like that could be quite a nice bronze. Oh, it's a little bit orangey, but we can try it. Uh, the Soap Revolution palette, that's not going anywhere. I use that pretty much every single day. Uh, oh, I haven't used that so far this year. This is the Tanya Burr Illuminating Powder in Champagne Sorbet. I will test that out again this year. The Zoella Colourpop Press Powder. I don't like this so much because it's got a pink cast to it. I keep trying it just to see, but nope, I don't like it. It's been donated. 
uh, wet and wild mega glow that's saying uh, MAC mineral skin finish I use that a lot as well Barry M illuminating highlight palette I haven't used that this year so these two will go in mine to use cool and that's that drawer done that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be this drawer however this drawer 20 eyeshadow palettes is that excessive yes yes it is okay this is going to be fun so the zodiac palette from colourpop keeping i'm loving i left it at my um brother and sister-in-law's uh for like four weeks the other day and i missed it so much so that is staying um the soph original palette i haven't used it this year so that can be in mind to test for the year one naked heat keeping that i do still use it uh disney designer we're keeping that the NARS Narcissist Wanted Palette. Have I used that this year? I don't know. We'll put it in the thing because I can't remember using it. I remember I really like it, but I can't remember using it so far this year. Why have I got sellotape on a palette? That's just weird, Lisa. Weird. Uh, the Naked 3 palette. I love this. This is not going anywhere. The MAC. Uh, this is from Shiny Pretty Things as well. This is a very cool tone palette and I have used it this year. It makes a really nice smoky kind of grey eye. The Extra Spice Soap Palette, I don't think I've used so far this year. Dream Street Palette, you know I love this. It's amazing, it's so dirty already, but I'm obsessed. Um, the Estee Lauder, so this is a really old Raisins Palette. I haven't used it this year, so that can go in the pile. Um, the Tanya Bear Too Tempting Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think I'm going to use this, so I'm going to put that in the donate pile. Naked Smoky, I haven't used that this year, so I'll put that in the pile to try. I remember really liking it. But I haven't used it this year. Uh, Naked Cherry, I've just got that, so we're keeping that. This I actually used today, so we keep that. Naked Reloaded is new, we keep that. Uh, Zoella Brunch Date Palette is new, we keep that. Um, this is the MAC Burgundy Times 9. Have I used? I don't think I've used that this year. I haven't used these two, but I'm going to donate them because I just have so many other palettes like these. Um, and then this other MAC palette, Semi Sweets Timeline, I have used this, it's all matte shades, it's very handy to have. Okay. Okay, right. That's kind of narrowed it down a little bit more. It's still a little bit excessive. <laughs> Oops. And um, we've got some singles. So let's have a look at these videos. We have some of the Supernova shadows from... Colour pops, we have four of these. I have used all four this year, so they're saying I love these, I'm obsessed with them, they're so so good. <sighs> right, we have three single MAC shades. So we have this one which is smutty green. I use this at Christmas, I haven't used it since, so that's going to go in there, and the same with these. So I've got these two singles, one is woodwinked and the other one is brulee, so I'll put those to test. And then I've got four single Colourpop um, Super Shock Shadows. Some of these I have been using a lot. So Glisten, I'm obsessed with. I want another one of those. Um, Light Up, I haven't used at all, really. And it's not... I don't know, I'm not in love with it. So I think that's going to go in my donate pile. Um, Vela is really, really pretty. That can stay. And this red Blitzen is also really nice, so we'll keep those. So, okay, that drawer done okay i thought that one was tough oh man because they've got the urban decay and the run palette we are keeping that it's not my favorite but i just want to keep testing it <laughs> i don't even know where to start with these i honestly don't even know where to start like a MAC store and you're like, I definitely don't have enough MAC lipsticks. Um, I kind of need to stop saying that. Okie kokey. Where to start? I feel like I could do this by, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to start the front and work my way back. Um, okay, so we've got a couple of glossier ones. We've got Jam, which 
I remember really liking but I have definitely not used either of these this year because I've also got it in I think this is cake I mean they're very pretty but I'll put them in to try because I don't want to get rid of them because I like them but um I can't remember anything about them so there is that uh relentlessly red not my favorite so that might go in my donate pile I can see like Kay watching this like put it in the donate pile put it in the donate pile um diva I really like diva so we will keep diva uh pink nouveau that's going in the donate pile because I know I don't like it and I don't use it oh I like both of these but I haven't used them so far this year um we have retro love retro that's staying syrup I like syrup that is staying ruby woo stupid question fanfare not as keen on fanfare so that oh my god I can't believe I'm putting MAC lipsticks to be donated um I feel like I really liked this color when I got it but yeah I don't know I don't remember using it so we'll try it um that can go and be do you know what I, I don't know what <laughs> no okay fanfare I'm gonna put in there to test pile because I just don't want to part with it. Uh, Kate 107, I like, but it's so old. And it's, oh no, I like it. I'm keeping it. But I haven't tried it this year, so it's going to go in the pile. Um, these, it's a keeper, naughty nude. I don't remember these. And they basically look like the same colour. Interesting. Um, I think I remember it's a keeper being similar to syrup. I think I said that was like a dupe. Um, I'm going to donate Naughty Nude, I'm going to try it as a keeper again. Snow White, I like that, we are keeping Snow White, we are keeping Belle, we are keeping Tiana and we are keeping April, we are keeping all the Disney princesses. I have used those this year. Um, Estee Lauder, Vengeful Red, I feel like I have enough reds, so there's that. Uh, L'Exuberant, I haven't used that this year, this is a Chanel one. I'm don't really don't want to throw a Chanel one away but I'm going to test it again I probably haven't used it so far this year because it's such a bright pink so it's not really the right kind of year uh, we've got the L'Oreal Color Reshies in Color Hype and Topless keeping both of those, I love them, I've been using them um, Russian Red, I love that, that's actually kind of taken over from Ruby Wears my favourite MAC Red uh, we've got Cake, I really like Cake, that's staying um, I feel like I haven't tried this in a while. This is a Rimmel Kate Nude in 45. Um, we have Fudge, which I think is too dark for me, which is why I haven't been using it, so I'll donate that. Twig, we're keeping it. I love Twig. Um, Watch Your Sign, I use that very, very regularly. Pink Cocoa from Tiny Bear, again, one of my favourites, not going anywhere. Um, Cross Wires, I'm going to test it. Last time I used that, I don't know, we'll test it. Um, nice to meet you, I haven't used that for a while, so I'll test that one as well. Um, Lip Tensity Marsala, I have used this year, love it, keeping that. Um, Creme de la Femme, we are keeping, I have tried that. High Flat, I haven't tried either of the Rimmel um, mattes, only one mattes for a while, so I'll try those. Velvet Teddy, well that's just a stupid question, that's obviously staying. Why did I not put those in the test pile? Um, flat Out Fabulous, I don't think this is really my kind of shade. And I don't think I've used it since I've had it, so that's going to go in the donate pile. Um, Captive, yes, we are keeping that. Alessandra, that's what I'm wearing today, so I have to keep that and I've only just refound it, so that's not going anywhere. Um, we have Chili, which I really liked. Rebel, I wasn't... 100% keen on so I might donate that one it's just like I feel like I'm giving away my child by giving away MAC lipsticks that's how I feel kind of sexy love that keeping that that one I haven't tried for ages so here we go um, this one I do like this is the um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy and Irresistible it's just a really nice movie pink and I have been using that. Fever La Glam, haven't used that. It's my first MAC, so I will probably never get rid of it. New York Apple, I haven't tried either. 
the sheer stone I know I don't like that it's not my kind of shade syrup I have used this year um, Chanel in La Raffini I have used or the other day Relentlessly Red Mini this is Chloe Chanel Early in Paris I, don't, I haven't used that this year the two I really like that one I can't remember Scorpio Moon yes I have tried that um, Show Orchid I have a feeling this was one where I was like it's not me so I'll go in there Sea Share I really liked that I have used it this year Snob is way too light for me and this is Ruby Woo so we keep the little mini Ruby Woo it's just very handy and uh, we have Coral Bliss and Fleur de Force Coral Bliss I know I wear every single summer and Fleur de Force I have worn so we don't need to try this um, and then these, I don't think I've tried any of these this year. Oh no, I have, I've tried Big Kiss. But I haven't tried Birkin Truffle all winter, so I'll put that in the test pile. Okay, oh god, I literally feel sick from... Oh, I have some in here too. Okay, we'll come to you, we'll come to you. Right, liquid lipsticks. Well, we'll start with bonds at the front. So we've got the Tartist Lip Paint, this is in FOMO. I do use that still a lot. Um, this one is Wine Shot. This is one of the Estee Lauder Pure Colour Envy Metallics. This is beautiful. I wore this a lot over Christmas, so I am still going to keep that. Um, this is the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in Pink Fondant. I don't remember trying that, so that'll be a test. Um, we've got Grande, which is the Tartus Lip Paint. Again, I do use that. I kind of tend to have those in little bags because they're mini. Um, the Lip Gloss in Cranberry Mart. Again, I can't really remember that. Definitely haven't tried that in a long time, the Maybelline Sensation. I have tried that, we do like that, so we'll keep that. Uh, Barium Lip Oil, haven't used that in a very long time. I have a feeling I didn't like them, so donate. Uh, the Pink Lip Glass, or Cream Sheen Glass, in Creme Anglais, we will try that. Mm, okay, this is one of the Stay Matte Lip Colours from Rimmel. This is in the shade Rose and Shine. I have another one here, which is in the shade um, Heartbeat. I remember I have tried these, but I definitely haven't worn them this year, so I will try them. Oh, yes, love that. NYX of Mac Pium Amsterdam, obsessed. These two I ha don't really use too much, actually, so I might donate those. This one, I love the formula. And I wore this a lot last year, but I don't think I like the orange. I can't remember, so I'm going to put that in my test pile. Oh, these little Benefit balms. Is that even still you? Okay, well that should go in my empties. That's the Posy balm. I remember living off of that. And then Benny balm. I haven't tried that this year. It does not look like it's actually usable. So you might go in empties too. Oh. The Body Shop Matte Lip Liquids, I don't know why they've done it that way around. These are amazing, all three of these are used so they will stay, I like them a lot. Can't remember, that's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Lover. I think I remember really liking it but I can't actually remember. Um, these are the Tanya Burr Matte Lipsticks, I didn't like those, they were really really streaky so I'm going to put those to donate. These. The L'Oreal Lip Paint Lacquers. I remember really loving the shades, but they just were wet. They never dried down. But I will test them again, because I haven't tested them so far this year. You need to go in there too. Oh, something's going to break in there. Um, and the same with the Revlon ones. I haven't tried those in ages. Um, more lip oil, which I know I didn't like. And then we've got the Zoella So Soft Lip Oil, which I did like, so that will stay. Um, we have the Ultra Glossy Lip from Colourpop in Etoile. I don't think I was a huge fan of this. Oh, that looks really pretty. And I only got them this year, so we will keep trying that. Uh, yes, we will try that. I love their Ultra Satin Lips. They're so comfortable. This is the Gloss in Moon Child, which I love. I like that a lot. The Ultra Satin in Lucky Star are really, really nice. Um, this one is in Little Star. I don't think I was as big a fan of this one. Oh no, I do like that. I do like that. What am I going on about? Uh, we have the Disney Designer Gloss in Boo, which I like and I use a lot. The Ultra. And then these are all new ones. No? 
They're not all new ones. This one isn't a new one, but I do like it. That's Dreamy. And then these were the one from the Zoella collection, and I do like them. Okay, so that's the drawers. We're now up here. So we've got kind of like eyeliners and lip liners. So we'll start with, we're on lips. So let's start here. Let's see what we've got in here. We've got this lip definer from Body Shop. That's really nice, and I do use that. So we'll keep that. Um, this is the Exaggerate Lip Liner from Rimmel in Obsession. That's a really good one. We will keep that. Um, I have five lip liners from MAC. Um, Rosy Rim and Chic Treak I haven't used for a little while, so I'll test those. The others that I have, which is Saw, Cherry and Whirl, I like and I will keep those. Uh, the Colourpop Lip Liners that just come in, I like all of those, so they're staying. The Topshop ones are nice, but I can't actually remember how I feel about them, so we will try those. Um, this is dead, right? Yeah. East End Snob, you are dead. Um, and then we have some lip crayons, so, oh, I can't get rid of this, this was my wedding colour. This just needs sharpening. Oh, I can't get rid of it, it was my lip, it was my wedding colour. This I have not used in forever. I don't even know what it's like anymore. So I've tried There's so many lip products to try out. Um, these I don't use. I haven't used in a long time. So there you go. Um, this one I haven't tried in a while. So I will try that one. Um, the Clinique ones I will try. And then I know I like the Chanel ones. So, so we've got the Urban Decay Travel Makeup Mascara. I haven't used that this year. So I will try that. The Body Shop Eye Crayon I have been using and I quite like it. The Body Shop Super Volume Mascara, I like that. Lottie Lynn the Wing Woman is good. Rimmel Scandalize is good. Maybelline Lash Sensational, all staying. Um, we have the Green Scandalize. These are all like the Rimmel eye pencils, which are definitely staying. They just need sharpening. Um, but I like all of those, so we're not getting rid of those. Look at the little nude one. Still making my mind up about the Colourpop ones. I'm going to keep them. What else we got here? Oh, I think these are the Tanya Burt ones, which I haven't. I don't. I didn't rate those. I didn't like. I swear, I like keep things just as a reminder to buy them. Like the Steeler Stay Day Liquid Liner, that's been dead for months. Um, what else have we got? Oh, this. I can't remember. I don't think I liked it. I'll try it. It's Estee Lauder, so it can't be like. I say it can't be horrendous. They're very up and down in my estimation, but their double wear pencil is nice. Uh, sumptuous. <coughs> I think I remember trying it, I wasn't keen, but I will try it again because I haven't this year. Uh, eyebrow pencil that I don't use, so never really used it. That is the horrendous and the worst, one of the worst eyeliners I have ever tried. Okay, wow, that took some time, didn't it? Um, but it is done now, which is great. God knows how long this video is. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I'm definitely going to do a couple of videos off the back of this. For example, I'll go through like my empties. I'll do like some testing videos with the stuff that I feel like I do need to test because I haven't tried them in ages. Um, and yeah, but let me know if there's anything in that pile that you really want me to try. Um, Kate, you're going to be very happy with what is in the donation pile. And I will see you all again very soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, be ready for next week when April Madness starts. See you later. Bye.